Emoj, and thank you so much for joining me today to discuss your journey with IBD. Wow, what a journey it has been. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Can you first tell me what were you diagnosed with, how long ago, and what was that experience like for you and your family? Well, I was first diagnosed in 2015 mm -hmm. with ulcerative colitis. I definitely was experiencing symptoms starting 2007, 2008. So, so I went that long. With... years ago, roughly. So at first it was kind of off and on. And I think it mostly just affected me in the beginning. I was very good at hiding what I was feeling what I was going through and I wasn't quite at the point where I was like running to the restroom all of the time although that ended up happening and I would just not eat yeah. to try to feel some semblance of normalcy but it wasn't until 2015 I started realizing something was not normal for me yeah. and once I saw the presence of blood that was what really frightened me so it was then, from 2007 to the 2015 you felt like okay maybe some IBS just gut issues but 2015 yeah. Okay, I'm seeing blood. This is beyond, this is not just a tummy issue. There's something severe happening here. Yes. And I kind of have a high threshold for pain and yeah. I can be a little in denial. Yeah. And I think after my first cancer diagnosis, I just didn't want to believe that something else was wrong with me or whatever. So I just started having really acute pain mm -hmm. and I was a pastry chef at the time. So I was always on my feet, very high, intense stress, energy type of job to where I literally just collapsed and yeah. so my partner rushed me to the ER and that was when they diagnosed me and basically just said that there wasn't much they could do other than tell me that I could be on immunosuppressants and at the time I couldn't afford any type of infusions and there were no programs for it and so your insurance um, is only going to cover so much of these biologics correct so you're looking at a hefty bill to even be on these biologics so you really felt like I mean there's no way you could do it you couldn't afford it and you probably didn't want to be on right. biologics. You already had a previous cancer diagnosis. And so there's yeah. just so much going on, on your plate. And you were, you know, now a single mom trying to take care of your family. I mean, just so much on your yeah. plate. Yes, my two kiddos and myself. And there were times where I'd have to take a month or two off to recover, not really understanding the gravity of the situation. Yeah. So I'd be working or in school and then I'd have to take that month or two off to recover yeah. and then get back to it just to land back in bed again and or the hospital. And it was just cyclical for till about, I guess, 2020 when lockdown happened. Yeah, you didn't have to leave the house and you had IBD and you could work from home and be with the kids and the society yeah. made it acceptable. Yeah, I hear that. And fast forward to the end of 2023, you're still having severe IBD symptoms for nine years and you've mm -hmm. tried different diets, you've tried supplements, you've tried medications, is that correct? Yeah, so I had gotten on Zeljans for, I guess, 2020 when I came out of the hospital, they gave me Zeljans and I was able to get hooked up with a company that helps me get them in an affordable rate. Okay. And so I was actually getting them free for a little while, okay. but I started having very intense, terrifying side effects from the Zeljans. I stopped taking it and I found out later the dosage I was taking was fatal, but it was prescribed by my doctor. So I thought it was okay. And I started having the scary symptoms and so I ended up titrating myself down because I didn't even have access to my doctor at that point and I went about six months of doing the same thing and not really trying to tackle it in any other way just hoping and praying that nothing would happen and then about six months was when I had the reaction after that. And Zeljans is a strong immunosuppressant. You've tried medications. You had tried to do some strict dieting in the past. Yes. It wasn't really getting you anywhere. Right? You were really in your tough spot. You're also in a place where the finances were a bit more strapped. So you had to be really smart about where you spent or you invested. Walk me through end of 2023. You're looking at the SHIELD program. What made you think this was different or this could be your answer with nine years of suffering and trying drugs and trying all this stuff and nothing's working? What made you feel like this could be your home? When I came out of the hospital, in 2021 like I said I'd been in and out and so I came out 2021 and I was looking online for anything that I could yeah. empower myself do I need to eat something or do I avoid something whatever yeah. and that was how I found your videos and I was like who is this guy but then I saw <laughs> your before and afters and I read your whole story and you had a little more of a dire situation where it was life-threatening but I had salmonella poisoning and they didn't realize it and 
until halfway through my hospital stay. And so they were taking care of me and I was having these weird heart issues and they thought I was going into cardiac arrest. And then they said, well, if you end up back in here, you're losing your colon. Like the doctor I'd mentioned to you Our before doctor. was talking to another doctor and they were debating whether or not to take my colon or try to. And so the one that I told you about, he's like, uh, uh no, we're not doing that to her. So he convinced, I was like, just take it. I'm done with it. And he goes, no, no, no. It's a whole other plethora of problems you don't want to deal with. So I said, okay. And so I had off track with that. So you're looking at it, you're relating with the story. You're watching testimonies yeah. such as this. Yeah, there had to be another solution. And when I saw yours, I reached out to your people and I got linked up with Becky. Yes. And she had a very similar story to me. And just hearing her go through her story, I felt, I guess I was still afraid yeah. to spend that much money and yeah. feel like it's just another thing, you know, that seems like it's going to work and it's not going to work. We went from 2020, 2021 to 2023, and she stayed in contact with me. If there was any time I needed to like reach out, she was there for me. And she yeah. tried to help me find ways to raise the money and things like that. So she worked with me. She just has this way about her that makes you feel like held. Becky had to raise money herself. That's herself. what I did. I started to go fund me. Wow. Yeah, I was you started to get go the fund amount. me to join their program. That's a lot of weight on us. You put it on any practitioner. Here you go. That's it. Go. It's um, like, okay. I was in the hospital. It's, just, it's a very just, scary moment for any practitioner, but I'm glad we're here. I mean, it was between that and just the same old from yes. the doctors telling me the same crap over yeah. and over again. So I remember getting that amount and just like pressing send and being really nervous about it. But I had so much time in the hospital to kind of really go yeah, through everything weigh it out in your head. and I mean there were 50 50 like people that I spoke to and I'm like what do you think some people were like oh this is a this is a scam and then a couple other people were like well what do you have to lose and that was where I was and I just yeah. like had this gut feeling that I had to do it and I'm glad that I did and so that's why I'm telling everybody you know they're like how are you doing <laughs> yeah you rolled the dice I mean we all roll the dice anyone listening to this conversation is wondering if they should roll the dice in life but it really it's very little if you think about it I spent $30,000 my first year and I got no results and my family was going Absolutely. broke. I mean, we know yeah. there's a certain amount of money it takes to get real results. You need a coach, you need a community, you need supplements, you need access. Yeah, that was another selling point for me that there were so many people involved yeah. and they were all focused on these specific issues. Whereas yeah. when you go to the hospital, they're all over the place. And they're dealing with all different IV issues. Yeah. Whereas you guys were very focused and I had Becky and I had Thomas and if I felt desperate enough to like reach to you that I could do that. And then I had the whole community yeah. and then I had all the information available. And a lot of it was lining up with just like when I printed out the workbook and I was reading through the material, I was like, these guys are into this crap I'm into, you know, like I was telling Thomas, there's book recommendations I'd like to, like, I'm very be big believer in we can heal ourselves. Yeah. There's a lot of wisdom in our bodies that we haven't tapped into. Maybe some of us have. I mean, I'm like all about Joe Dispenza and stuff, but I've never yeah. been to one of his retreats or anything. But yeah, like all of those people of like creating your own reality and having a mentality of you're in the desired outcome, no matter what the current situation is reflecting. And I think other people can relate whether they're sick in bed or they're in the hospital and they're feeling desperate and alone and their family members don't know what they're going through. It's so powerful to be able to just visualize yourself where you want to be and just keep that motivation. Even if you do it just three times a day and the rest of the time you're crying in bed, like at least you're releasing it, you're getting out and you're keeping your eye on the prize. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that has been 50% and that's being modest in conjunction with everything, every other way we've attacked it. Yeah, attack the issue, attack the dream, right? When you came into the program, you did a GoFundMe to be able to join the program. And you said, this is the program for me. This is the team for me. I want to do this and, and give it my all. And yeah. you were having 15, 20 bowel movements during the day. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. You were having yeah. like 10 out of 10, massive amount of blood, urgency, diarrhea, mucus. You were having yeah. three to seven bowel movements at night on top of the daily bowel movements. Yes. You weren't sleeping. Yeah. You're having no. extreme bloating, extreme cramping and pain, mm -hmm. some arthritic pain. You were tapering off prednisone still, which swelled you up and kind of had some adverse reactions. And yeah. you had very little energy. Yeah, it's just like nothing. That's hard to do when you're a single mom. And I'll tell you, for anyone, you'd put any practitioner in this type of circumstance where this extreme situation, there's a very limited amount of funds to invest in getting the right team and resources. It's a very hard thing. But we dove in and we said, all right, let's give it our best. Yeah. Rogan, what are your symptoms now? I'm not having any. 
funny sometimes right now. <laughs> All right. That's All what right. I'm talking about. Yeah. Ah, ah. How many moments today are you having? I mean, maybe one or two, depending on how much I eat. What depending on where I am, my fast. Are you having any blood, mucus, or urgency? Are you having any cramping or pain? No. Do you have great energy? Yeah. Are you sleeping through the night without waking up? Oh, yeah. Are you on yeah. any medications to do this? When you were having those reactions, you were on the prednisone, you had already failed the Zelgens, and now you're medication free and you're feeling better than you ever had. Yeah. I mean, I will say on the Zelgens, I never had a full blown reaction, but there were times in my life where I could feel it coming and the Zelgens did keep it at bay. But I always had feeling of like, this isn't normal. Did I need this? That's basically suppressing my immune system. Like this is just putting a bandaid on a gaping wound. I always felt that yeah. way. Well, but it wasn't until I started having the really adverse reactions of the Zelgens that I knew it had to go. I mean, I was having kidney pain and heart palpitations. Are you, are you was, having any heart palpitations now or kidney pain or any other reactions? No, it's the so, first time in my life I feel like I did before the reaction started from the beginning. And this is the crazy thing about your story emotion. I mean, it, it really, I think it is almost a bit about manifestation. If I have to put something on it, how quickly did you start seeing results when you joined the program? It was like immediate. That's I was like a couple of weeks, a week, maybe. Seven to 14 days, you started going Phew. Yeah. Like symptoms drastically got better. And I want to, yeah. you know, we'll talk about that. One of the reasons I think that mindset you were talking about and what you were attracting was big, but also we were able to get rid of a lot of different foods and stressors and lifestyle choices that were really hurting your body and then add yeah. things in that for your body, it just soaked it up. It loved mm -hmm. it and it just completely helped reset you. For everyone listening, we call that the daily blueprint, like our proven system. So we've run this on thousands of people and we have this kind of generic system. We start you off on and then we tweak it from there mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. just was like bingo crack for emojin just absolutely yeah, thank God. With the baseball boom out of it and coach thomas is the one who personally did it with her congratulations doing this it was all emojin it was all her emojin. body <laughs> no, i just supplied the play with it. yeah yeah thomas ran the play but emojin how important was it to have someone like coach thomas by your side going through this that it wasn't just the community so valuable the live trainings are so valuable the program step by step massive about it. the journal the workbooks also valuable mm -hmm. but the one-on-one -on -one coaching the direct message support the person you can connect with to make sure you are taken care of privately how important was that to have coach thomas 100 percent. like i don't know if i would have gotten through the program without that because there's an amount of accountability that's there but also because like he was there for me to answer any questions to go through everything and just to kind of go over what we had gotten through thus far and then moving forward even like the exit it meeting it was sad because i was like oh are you? but at the same time i still left that third meeting feeling totally empowered and like i had other options if i couldn't maybe buy these things right away he gave me alternatives and he was always very knowledgeable and positive and i don't know if i could have done it without that honestly and also having someone to you know direct message or just hey today didn't go well what can i do to Day. Hey, the next yeah. week is always there, always in your pocket, always available to help you out. Thomas, what do you think are some key factors that you would want to share about what yeah. helped Emojin be so successful? I think two things that we've been touching on, and I'll hit them directly. One is resourcefulness. Like when we had our first session, we were waiting on the supplements. She was already doing things ahead of time, like eliminating the toxins, focusing on the defense before the offense could even get there. And then also mindset, which is part of that defense. She was already dabbling in the mindset but then she was able to compound that and create long-term success with the help of mindset. And I know she's continuously doing that. So, you know, having a good mindset is good for anyone and Emojin mm -hmm. has shown how important that can be and is. And Emojin, if there's one thing you want to highlight in your program, you know, we went through it for months and we customized it and tweaked it a few different times. And also you being on a budget, we'd be really strict and specific about what we did and why and when. What is there one thing you'd like to highlight to anyone out there who really relates with your program that you feel like really helped you? I know we did, you know, many different things Things. It's not one thing. Yeah, it's hard. That. Yeah. Is there one thing you're like, man, that thing was awesome? I mean, I could say, I guess I really 
point to, to the supplements that worked for me that what's one really, supplement that really helped you the curcumin the inflammatone so, those were like so my like shining curcumin. stars yeah a curcumin and we use a specific time called c3 curcumin everyone it's very bioavailable and we use a specific type that's not going to be so bioavailable in the small intestine that could actually work its way down to the colon we do want it to coat sometimes you can even put frozen turmeric in your elemental shake that's also a good way to do it yeah. or flamitone has a concoction of products or immunomod a which has n acetoglucosamine andrographis and c3 curcumin in it to help modulate and calm down that immune system naturally. So great stuff. So that's been a shining star for you. I love that. Yes, if I had felt any even discomfort, that was what really did it for me. And you were also diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis as well, right? Which yeah. human works wonderful for our way. So we know that there's a massive inflammatory response in your specific case and your body responded so well to that, that form of curcumin. Great yes. stuff. Other than that, just knowing that y'all were available, yep. knowing that there's a whole community there, yep. literally at my fingertips and knowing that like there were other success stories and that even if maybe I fell back that it wasn't the end of the road yeah. for me that there was still more to try just the relief of that alone took yeah. all of the worry and what ifs yeah you're not stuck we're not reason. giving you one plan that if it doesn't work it's like oh we tried you can critique your plan a hundred ways and you're a member for life like you still yeah. can come to the live trainings now you still yeah. connect with the community and any member right now you can still still wake up one day and say, you know what, I want more coaching and say, hey, I'm going to get more coaching. You can still yeah. come in and you can do any of it at any time now, a year from now, two years from now, and continue to reset your plan. And, and the point is, is that you're feeling safe. You found therapies that really helped you change your life and you are now empowered. You're now empowered for life, not only to realize A, it can work, but B, what things can really help me? What are my resources? What's my Batman belt to combat this yeah. in the future, which is huge. And Absolutely. if you wanted to leave any last thought for anyone out there listening, resonating, a thought of is success possible, the SHIELD program, what piece of advice would you give to someone out there listening to your story? Probably everybody on my end of this right now would say like, it's not a gimmick. This isn't a waste of money. This isn't yeah. a money grab. This isn't people that are trying to take advantage of people who are in a desperate situation. It's actually the, it is the real deal. It's the beacon of light. And I was at a point for going through it for so long, thinking I'm gonna lose my colon, thinking I'm never gonna have a normal life and taking a chance on a program and actually seeing benefits. And so if you're that person who the doctors don't have any solutions for you and you can't be on biologics and you can't be on immunosuppressants and pill form and all that, you've tried everything that the big pharma is shoving down your throats and is not feeling good. This is a perfectly reasonable. And I would say the first alternative, it shouldn't even be the alternative. It should be how we're addressing you seeing Crohn's right now. And the fact that y'all go through functional medicine and things like that and you're really focused on the root of the issue and understanding what causes these things. If you're feeling alone and no one understands what you're going through, these people do. And they're going to not only give you options, but like educate you so that if for whatever reason you are left to your own devices, it's all there for you. That's all I can say. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. I just know that it's been life changing and I'm not getting paid to say any of this. And I don't know where I would be right now today if I hadn't taken that chance. I'm not going to cry. If I hadn't taken that chance that day at the hospital to really do it. And I'm the last person that would create a GoFundMe and ask for money. For, I mean, I had cancer well, twice and I never asked mm -hmm. for any money. I still have those med bills, but I was like, God darn it, I'm going to do this. And I put my pride aside and I asked for help. And I'm so glad that I did because because a lot of people came together to make this happen and it's worth it.